Hey, praise the Lord. This is Jesus and Me Able channel, and today is October 20th, 2013, a little after. Well, it's actually almost a couple of minutes before 8 o'clock Eastern Time, and I want to uh, show you this website here. Um, I, I I don't know this brother personally. I do talk, to, I have talked to him on the phone once, talked to his son once before too also. I emailed him, and his name is Pastor Marcus Samuel. It's a beloved brother who does a wonderful missionary work at the Pine Ridge Reservation. And you're wondering why am I doing this? You know, I, you know, we tend to do videos for things that are, are, news, are newsworthy, and that's fine and dandy. But you know, my job, you know, like I told you, on my, uh, if you see my homepage, you know that, you know, I never thought I'd be in YouTube. But the reason why I'm on YouTube is to, pre to, to talk about the goodness and the mercy of God. You know, I was a backslidden Christian for many years, and the Lord, by His mercy, brought me back home, and I'm the prodigal son, and no matter what I go through day by day, you know, I try every day to deny myself and and, and, and examine myself before the Lord. Uh, and I'm grateful that every day that I live, you know, and every day that I'm alive, that I have a chance to talk about Him uh, because of His goodness and His mercy. So with that said, though, I need to bring attention to this because you know what? Uh, when I was uh, a young man, uh, a little kid, like these little kids you see here in this picture. Um, I, I came from a family of nine, so I know what it is to be poor. I know what it is to be without shoes and to have hand-me-downs and hand-me-down toys and all that stuff. And, you know, and my parents were poor. You know, my father and mother did their best. And thank God, you know, we all lived, you know, uh, and we all made it uh, to adulthood. So, you know, they did a good job providing, you know, considering what they had, you know. So I know what it is to go home hung go to sleep hungry so you know and I thank God that he he got us through those tough times but with that you know with that said also you know I need to tell you that you know you know I don't forget where I came from you know and that's why I have a heart for the uh, for the poor I have a heart for the widows and orphans not that I'm letting my left hand know what my right hand is doing or my right hand what my left hand is doing but I'm just letting you know that I have a passion and a love for them, you know. And whenever I have something uh, extra, I'll do my best. Because not that I'm bragging about it, but it's just, if you have, you know, I got bills to pay too. You know, I have a wife and kids now, and, you know, I got bills to pay. And so I do what I can uh, when the Lord puts in my heart. You know, God loves a generous giver. So God, whatever God puts in your heart, whether it be $5, $10, a dollar, you know, it doesn't have to be a big a bundle, you know. It, yeah, little by little, you know, you could, you know, one dollar goes a long way if, uh, if 100 people give a, a one dollar goes a long way, you know. And that's the bottom line, you know. It's, it's what God puts in your heart to do. And, and and the reason why I'm doing this is because I love this brother. Every time I hear this brother, uh, brother uh, Marcus Samuel, he does a wonderful job in his missionary with the with the Pine Ridge Reservation. And every time I hear him in the Hagman and Hagman Report, he makes me almost almost makes me cry because I feel the passion, I feel the love that he has for these people, you know. And he's not a you know, he's not a uh, he wasn't you know he wasn't born an American Native American Indian. He went there as a missionary, you know, and he does such a wonderful job, and and, and God is, you know, God is using mightily. You have to, you know, if you get a chance, please go to Hagman and Hagman Report, get to his homepage, and and check out his Black Talk Radio Show, and, and just Google Mark, uh, Brother Marcus, and you'll find some of his uh, interviews with uh, Hagman and Hagman, and you'll feel the love. I mean, you'll feel the tea. I mean, you'll cry with this guy like I do. I mean, because I love this guy. This guy just had, he's for real, man. It's not like the mainstream churches, you know. He's not no Joe Holmes thing, I'll tell you that much. He's not saying, oh, everything's going to be okay. Everything's going to be fine tomorrow. Tomorrow's another day. No, you know, it's not like that. That's not That's not true Christianity. You know, we're going to go through trials and tribulations. The Bible says this. You know, Paul went to uh, shipwrecks and he went homeless and poor. Read the book of Acts, you know. Read the testimonies uh, of our brothers and sisters and, and, and their struggles. You know, it was not oh oh pass me you no know, oh Lord give me a thousand dollars you know I'll I'll so I'll, I'll give a hundred you know and I'll get ten a thousand back that's not the way it is that's that's just that's just so non that's nonsense you know I'm a, I don't know why I went there but I I did so but anyway you know whatever you could do for this brother and sister would be very appreciative I'll put a link in there I do want to show you the uh, the video that someone else made you know. And I'm thankful for all the subscribers that come by my channel, and I thank you for coming by, you know. And it's not about numbers, how many people view my channel, but I do thank you for coming by and subscribing. I hope it blesses you, and I hope the information there blesses you. But let's, you know, Jesus said that, you know, 
Uh, if you, uh, the greatest two commandments is this, that you love the Lord thy God with all your heart and mind and soul, you know, and that you love your neighbor as yourself. So this is our neighbor, you know. It doesn't have to be a believer in the Lord. That's because not, not all your neighbors in your building, your neighborhood are Christians. It's to have a love of Christ. Jesus came to heal the sick, you know. He set the captives free, you know, and he gave them bread to eat. Yes, he did. He gave them bread and fish. Just look at the stories in the Bible because they were hungry. And they follow him because they were hungry. You know, and, and many of us do want to follow God because we're hungry. Not just uh, not just physically, but we're all spiritually hungry too. So I pray that uh, you'll be blessed, you know, and you'll be blessed by giving, you know. God loves a generous giver. So I want to show you, uh, I want to share this video and, and be blessed. Oh, I I forgot to put it to the beginning. Sorry about that. So I pray this holiday season while we're celebrating Thanksgiving and and we're celebrating Christmas, Christmas, and I know that many of you are, are very mature in the Lord. You know that Christmas, uh, it's a pagan holiday, but you know it's not a pagan holiday to those who are in need. You know, because if you give them something, if you ever seen a kid uh, light up when you give him a toy, or you give him something that he doesn't have, it's more than just Christmas to him. It's something that he hasn't had. And coming from someone that didn't have anything that I got was, a, it was Christmas. Trust me. It didn't have to be Christmas for me when I got something um, given to me that I didn't have. So don't don't be so so critical and and and, and be so biased or be so spiritual to say that uh, Christmas is a pagan holiday. You know, to those who are mature, we know we know that the calendar has been changed. We know that. You know, Jesus probably wasn't born at Christmas. That's not important. What is important is to give to those who are in need. You know, what is important is to have the love of Christ. Is to give uh, to the poor, to give to the hungry, and give to the homeless. You know, that's that's the that's the that's the love of Christ to give those in need. And I pray that that that's what I find in your heart today. That you would do the right thing. It doesn't just have to be just for the uh, pine ridge reservation. It could be a homeless shelter in your neighborhood, you know. It could be a neighbor next door, you know, through the holiday season. If you see them unemployed, it, you know, it's just doing, you know, being your brother's keeper. It's doing the right thing and, and loving one another and helping each other out. And and you know what? No better than to do this for the Pine Ridge too Reservation. They went through hell for many centuries, you know. We kicked them out of their own land, you know, and... Spanish conquistadors came over here and wiped them out too. So we need to do the right thing, not just for the Pine Ridge Reservation, for any reservation that you know of that needs help. We, we you know, they deserve it. You know, we we done them wrong. Whether you agree with that or not, we done them wrong. 
and there's nothing better to help. It is a Christian brother there doing the right thing by himself, and he needs our help. And I pray that if you if you are a believer, not a believer, but if God puts in your heart to do the right thing, I'll put all the links, all the donation buttons if you want to. All the mailing, uh, if you need to send it to Brother Marcus Samuel, I'll send, I'll send you the, uh, the, the address below. I'll put the address below. And whatever God puts in your heart, a dollar could go a long way. Trust me, a dollar, if, if 100 people get one dollar, that goes a long way. So any little thing helps, you know. And it's, it's to brighten some kid's heart. It's to get them an extra a food plate to eat. And that, that's all worth it. I don't know about you, but nothing better than seeing a a, sm uh, a child smiling and being happy that he got something. All right, well, thank you, and I thank you for coming by. And may the Lord Jesus Christ bless you this day. And be blessed in Jesus' name.